Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm bringing you messages for March 1st through 15th. Not really date specific. Whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it's your message. If it doesn't, you can always check out the video in this series that aligns with your rising sign. You can do a little cross watching too, that never hurts. Uh, if you are here as a cross watcher, welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Click the button and subscribe. Join us. And for those who are returning, um, we are growing it. It's happening. How exciting is that? And because of the increased engagement, I'm now taking my cues from the comments as to what content to bring you, what kind of readings that um, would be most helpful to you. So if you're coming from love and you post a comment, I hope you're all seeing that I do reply to them, almost all of them anyway. Uh, at the very least, I'm hearting them, I'm liking them, and, um, and I'm listening. So this week we're focusing on the twin flames in separation there were several of you who over the past two weeks have said yeah this is all nice but like i've got no communication with my twin you know where's my message so that's why i'm focusing on those in separation so if you are here gemini and that's who i'm talking to you know who this counterpart is but you may be in separation for a long time it may be very recent that's my audience today all right Starting with the Enchanted Map from Colette, Bar B Colette Baron reed say that three times fast, Just For You, Spirit of Place, Ghostlands, that came out for another sign, and Solitude. Oh, Gemini. All in the upright, so that's interesting. Four, card number four is the um, Spirit of Place. This is a really beautiful card. The energy here feels very Gemini to me. Our, our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching, overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. Really beautiful, beautiful card. <clears throat> then we're getting the ghost lands. Who, who else? Pardon me, I'm going to look at my cheat sheet. Yeah, it was Pisces. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, they got the same card. Um, it is, you're getting it upright though. They got it reversed, I think. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, very Gemini, you run the risk of losing your footing, for rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there. You can take measured steps toward a goal or a dream. Take these steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, no can you, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present, then now is the most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction further than the heart and soul can see. So spirit of place and ghostlands feel very tied to me. These two things, for some of you Geminis, it's very, very, um, it's saying be here now. Be here now. Don't project into the future. Don't dwell in the past. Be here now. And then right on the heels of that, you get card number 13, solitude. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind, Gemini, of sur sur superfluous uh, thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. Perfect. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
And you know, Gemini, y'all move at the speed of sound half the time. Uh, your minds work very quickly. We count on you for, for your mental nimbleness, for your ability to keep all the balls in the air and foresee danger on the path. Um, we call on you for your dual mindedness, your ability to hold two thoughts at the same time and reckon with them. But I feel you're being told to pull back and stay in the moment and go within and be here now beautiful energy for you gemini let's take it to the tarot since you are in a period of separation we're going to look at the divine masculine's energy page of wands it's fire energy it's a message of passion it can also be a light flirtation so we're just going to hold on that for a minute and feminine gemini steps up as seven of pentacles the wait is on, being patient, patiently waiting for something to organically develop, which is a good place to be, and though it's probably not your favorite place to be. Energy of the connection, boom. This one's a keeper. The potential here is enormous, ace of pentacles. Through that gate, through that gate. Well, first, first comes the forgiveness. First comes, this is like these little lilies, these little beautiful white lilies feel all, okay, just got a hit. Lilies are often um, used, uh, they're symbolic to me of loved ones that have passed on. So the fact that you got that ghost lands, right? And the spirit of place, I almost feel like this is your, you know, these are your angels, these are your passed on loved ones standing right here in the foreground beckoning you to the gate asking you to find forgiveness and to walk through the gate you know what's through the gate the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles so i do feel the ghost lands are sort of here when i say ghost lands i, I just mean the energies of memories past of people that have passed things we long for things we miss that we used to count on for guidance aren't there right now that's why you need to quiet your mind gemini but there's some really huge potential in this connection okay just feeling called to shuffle a little more in the extended i'm going to be looking at how you feel about each other how the divine masculine feels about the feminine how the feminine feels about the masculine i'm going to look at the blocks to love and the, any challenges here for how uh, you know what's what's the block to the reunion action and advice from spirit and outcome and timing so those things will be looked at but right now how does the masculine see the connection hmm queen of wands you I, I feel someone here is dealing with a fire sign for sure and the feminine king of pentacles so i feel that uh it's interesting if you happen to be the feminine here gemini you're really grounded right now you're really it's all about the grounded the stability you're i feel like this is the feminine who's waiting for this ace of pentacles and sees the connection um in terms of i'm just going to say it husband you know husband material is is this person i'm dealing with marriage material and is looking at the connection through that lens the king of pentacles is stable is grounded is usually comfortable financially um and if not they know how to replenish their their bank account in a hurry they're just enterprising that way and money money comes and goes but it's always there when when it's needed this is also an energy that's very giving and 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 um energetically charitable with time resources their energy and and their um their stability and I, it's interesting that how you see the connection you both see it in high vibration feminine sees king of pentacles masculine sees queen of wands the masculine sees the connection as being on fuego this is high desire magnetic energy this masculine is saying yeah this is what i want that's the energy of the queen of wands that's what i want i'm gonna go for it and does so 
you know, um, magnetically as a manifester. This is manifestation energy here. But it's interesting to me that how you see the connection is in king and queen energy. Like, it almost feels like you're talking about how you feel about each other, but you're not. This is how you see the connection. So I'm going to clarify it. This, this connection has some massive... What am I doing? I had the clarifiers in my hand. This connection has some amazing potential here. Page of Wands. Masculine is showing up as Page of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign here, Gemini, that you're dealing with. Or just youthful energy. Just really high-spirited, youthful energy. This, yeah, they want to reconcile. They want, they want reunion. This is a card of victory. Six of Wands. That wreath of peace there on the wand they want to come toward you in reconciliation they want to deliver a message of passion this is the energy they're coming forward with holy hannah <laughs> and spirits like yeah page of wands again so um feminine you can expect if you're here gemini is a feminine you can expect a message of passion and one that says can we make up looking for peace looking for a truce looking to um, be victorious in, the, in, in this reunion. But it's going to come in the form of a message that might seem more flirtatious and passionate, more like a uh, you up, <laughs> you know? It might, it might not be as big and bold as like an ace of wands. It's not the king of wands. It's not even the queen of wands. The energy that this masculine is in right now is a little bit restrained, a little, little more on the player-ish side, player adjacent. I'm not calling the masculine a player. I'm just saying the energy feels like they're going to just you know, let it roll off their back there, but they really do want reunion. They really do want reunion and they are highly attracted to the feminine and want this connection to manifest. Feminines in the seven of pentacles, feminine saying, look at the card. I'll wait, hand on hip, <laughs> shovel in the ground, I'll wait. Yup, I'll wait. I'm waiting for enlightenment here. Whoo! What was I saying before? Walk through that gate and you got the Ten of Pentacles. I think this feminine has nailed this whole reading in their energy right here. I will wait because this is what I'm after. A life partnership, building a life together, commitment, all the generations coming together. See that? We've got the mom and the dad and the kid and the grandma and the grandpa and the dogs and the cat. We've, you know, it's just that energy of all the generations coming together in, the, in this family that's being built. Merging families is how this feels to me. And this feminine is patiently waiting. Delaying gratification even. The connection, energy of the connection is Ace of Pentacles. Brand new shot here at stability, at commitment, at abundance. <laughs> really screwing with me today, Gemini. Yep, what she said. <laughs> I love that the Page of Wands came out on the Page of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles comes out on the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, fun with spirit and tarot, huh? And yeah, it's going to take a little time. Knight of Pentacles underneath. Knight of Pentacles. This is moving slowly, but look what, what it's moving toward. Of the mother load of commitment, abundance, stability. This is this is like engagement ring material. You know, here's the key to my apartment baby material. This is the let's buy a home together material. And yeah, that might take a minute. That might take a minute. And I feel like this feminine is waiting patiently and isn't in a hurry the masculine seems a little more in a hurry let's see how they feel why does the divine masculine 
See this connection is the Queen of Wands, please. That's what they're manifesting. See? Manifesting, manifesting. This masculine is manifesting their, their desire, their heart's desire here. Knight of Wands, a lot of fire. You've got to be dealing with a fire sign here, um, Gemini. I'm speaking to Geminis who have, whoever they're dealing with is, this is all fire so far. Knight of Wands is the energy of um, Sagittarius. Now the Knight of Wands kind of comes in fast and furious, doesn't always announce themselves, right? And because I see the Page of Wands, I think it's going to start innocently. I think they are going to reach out with a message of passion, a flirtatious message, and then it's going to be gangbusters. The minute the feminine gives that heads up, gives that, yeah, it's all clear. I'm coming down off the post. The masculine is going to be at the front door. at the front door. So I feel like the masculine is chomping, chomping, champing at the bit is the proper saying. Why? Because they want the soulmate. Mm, two of cups. This masculine is, is, isn't playing. They really, they, it, I feel the passion coming from the masculine and for this feminine, that can be a turnoff. Um, and that's why the feminine's kind of pulled back. That can possibly even be why you went into separation anyway, is that this person is so passion forward and the feminine here seems very grounded. Other than the Pisces energy of the hanged man, it's pentacles, 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 pentacles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your mitts off me. Where's my stability? Where's my commitment? When are you going to take this seriously? When are we taking this to the next level? What is happening here? I'm smiling because I, I can feel this energy. I can feel it. And, um, and I feel it very positive. I, I'm actually surprised that this connection is in separation. How the feminine sees this connection. Why does the feminine see it as knight, king of pentacles? Well, there's the queen of wands. Star. One more, please. Ten of cups. Well, oh. Well, first we know the feminine showing up with the energy here of Ten of Pentacles means the feminine is delaying gratification because they, you know, Seven of Pentacles, they've planted the seeds, they've done the hard work, they've been patient, they want the payoff, they want life partnership, and they're, that's why the pullback. Because it's like, yeah, that's nice, you want to play uh, and have sexy time, I'm trying to get my life off the ground here, are you in or are you out? That's, you know, that's the energy I'm feeling. And I feel that this feminine, the way they see the connection is very much as a partnership. And they're answering with the, yeah, I, yeah, I'm your queen of wands. Yeah, that's, I see that too. But where's my king of pentacles? Where's the grounding to support all the passion? I mean, fire and earth strengthen each other, but they're kind of neutral. They're kind of neutral. It's not an active energy. So I feel that this feminine really needs to get that torch lit as the queen of wands really needs this masculine to step up in the role of the king of pentacles. Show your stability. Show that you're here, that you're, a bit, you're able to commit. Show that you're able to give me more than a romp in the hay that you're here for the long haul. And that would be the dream come true that would be the wish granted so i feel this this feminine is this is the star energy of aquarian energy here really has hope really has has hope that that's where it's headed and it's all about this ten of cups so now we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles twice this is a this is a love story this is a powerful love story in the making um i i uh, and I feel underneath this feminine is maintaining, here's that Leo energy that I've been feeling coming from this side, maintaining an energy of, of 
um, perseverance. Overcoming an obstacle. And in the extended, we'll look at what that obstacle is. I think I've already got it figured out. But for those who you're like, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. The link to the extended is right below in that top, top few lines of the description box. I will see you there in just a second. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, Gemini. This looks like a very promising. I do see reunion coming in, but I feel that it's the feminine that's holding things up. Just so you know, is waiting to see something specific here. And if this feels like you, I'll see you on the other side. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on a future reading. Bye, Jen.